What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and today we have PSA Returns. I've lost the number, I don't know what we're on, but this is an order that I submitted with Gezi a, a long time ago. We're talking, I think it was, they received it in April, so I sent it off to him in like end of March or something, so this is super old. Um, this is part of the reason why these grades are not super great, so... This was one of the first submissions I ever sent. So, because I didn't even have my own membership at that point. So, I was kind of lax. And I sent in a lot of cards that aren't super like valuable, I guess. But I just thought they were cool. Or they have some value, but it's like it's kind of niche. So, we're just going to get into it. And just start it off. So, I've already looked at them, obviously. It's already um, open, but I got the grades. They're, they're not super good, but... There is some pretty sweet stuff in here, so we're going to go ahead and, oh my goodness, this is like stuck on here. Oh, that's why this wasn't fitting in right. Okay. There's 20 cards in this. It was in a bulk submission, so that's why it took so long, but still, it went over the bulk submission, how long it was. So, let's just set this box aside, and then let's get into the return. So, we got 20 cards here. Take your guesses how many 10s we got out of 20. So put them in the comments. All right. I'm not sure what order they're in, so I'm just going to go for it. So with our first card, we got an SDK. It's a, it's a little bit faded. It's one of the original unlimited prints. I don't think it's wavy, but it is. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but it is like a sweet looking print. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, the weird thing is there's like nothing on this line, so it just looks weird. It got a near mint seven, so not a very good grade. I honestly, on most of these cards, I don't remember anything about them, so I don't know if they were supposed to get good grades or not, but I was also pretty, I was not as picky back then, so this was not very good, but this is also a sick card, so that may be part of our upcoming giveaway, this and something else, um, because it is a cool card, but it's only a seven, so here we go. We got another blue eyes. We got a lot of blue eyes in this submission. This is, as you can see, clearly a reprint. Looks pretty nice. I pulled this one from a pack myself. So pretty nice. And it got a mint nine. So not too bad. It got a nine, but as you know, with these these reprints, I've only ever graded, I've graded six of them and I've gotten one ten and I pulled all six of them. So that's pretty crazy. And here we got another blue eyes. This is um this is not the 2014 reprint. So this is probably like an oh mm, I don't know when this was, because it's a lighter version. Maybe it's like 2003 or 2004 print. Because it's not 2005, because then it would be EN. So it looks like an EN, but it doesn't have EN. So I'm guessing it's like 04 or something like that. There's so many different LB prints, it's so confusing. This got a near mint to mint eight. So not great, but not terrible, I guess. So that these two may actually be the giveaway. We may give away both of these. Both good cards. So here we go. We got another blue eyes. This is an original print. I think it's MRD print. So it's a really sweet card. It's pretty off-centered at the bottom, as you see. And then on the back, it's way off-centered. And then it's got some edge wear up there. This thing got another near mint eight. So that was not great. All right, next, Blue Eyes again. This one has a little bit of a lowered name almost. Sweet looking card. This may have been the one I bought thinking it was wavy and it wasn't. And this one also got an eight. So I got three eights and, an, and a nine on those Blue Eyes. Then we got a Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. This is from Dark Revelation 2, so Pretty awesome, pretty awesome card. Um, I sent it in. Uh, I thought it was nice at the time. I believe I don't know it was so long ago. I thought it would do okay. I was expecting like a nine, and it got a near mint seven. So, as you can see, this uh, it was probably I wasn't expecting a lot of tens out of this because I knew they weren't that good. But I didn't. I wasn't expecting so many sevens and eights. So here we got a trihorn dragon. This is a reprint, obviously. And what do we know about reprints? Mint nines every time. So we're one out of seven on reprints. I pulled that one as well. So I've pulled seven reprint cards and I've graded them all except one as nines. 
This one, if you don't remember, probably gonna cut to the scene of me pulling this. Opening this, this Magician's Force, just, just not very, you know, not really a point to opening it, but we're still gonna do it. Because even if we pull, well, if we pull a, bl a blue eyes, it'd be incredible, but I don't think there's a blue eyes in here. But you never know. Yeah, not looking too promising. Mammoth Graveyard, Firegrass, Dark World Thorns, Red Medicine. Oh my! No way! A Trihorn Dragon! Are you kidding me? Battle against uh, YGO Old School or Yu Gi Oh Old School on YouTube. Um, we pulled this out of an original Konami logo, logo pack. So, like 2002 Unlimited pack, not 2014, you know, the old pack. So, I pulled this. I pulled it on YouTube, and all I did was put it in a top loader, and that was everything it was. So, you know, you think a pretty good grade. It was off center, so I was expecting a 9 probably from that. Near mint 8. So, straight out of a pack. Ladies and gentlemen, near mid eight. So we pulled that one, got an eight. That was pretty unfortunate. I was not happy about that. And here is a. This is a really nice red eyes. The, I'm not sure what it is. It's like it's definitely an original, but but obviously unlimited. But so obviously I've sent in a lot of unlimiteds in this sub. This is a bulk sub, so I was like sending in the you know cheaper stuff. Pretty sweet looking red eyes. I was thinking this one maybe had a 10 chance, I think. And it got a near mint to mint 8, so. Maybe, I, I don't know. I can't really remember. It's been so long. So that got another 8. So we've got 5 8s already. Here's Exodia Necros. This thing at first I thought was going to be a 10. And then when I looked it over right before I sent it, I saw there was a tiny nick on the side. I don't remember where it was, but it was really small. So I thought it might, it might get away and get a 10. And it got the mint nine, so that's not a terrible grade. I was that was one of the two I was really hoping for a ten in, in here. Here we got tournament pack six. We got tune table of contents. This is a sweet looking card. I got this out of a collection. Um, really nice card. I I wasn't even expecting a ten. I just really wanted to send stuff on this sub. This was back before I had anything gradable, and this one got an eight. So kind of expected that, but that that's an awesome card. So. This, okay, this I thought was a 10. I remember this. This thing was super clean, super nice, and as you can tell, it didn't get a 10. It got an 8. I don't know what this was. This thing got an 8. So, so we're at 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. 7, 8. We're at 0 10s right now. Here we go with a, this is a really nice card. This is an Exodia the Forbidden One faded. Awesome looking card. Really faded. Got this from LLB AST Completed a while ago on Instagram. This thing is super cool. And this one got a mint 9. So I was actually pretty happy with that. Because they sometimes don't grade these faded cards well. But it was in pretty nice shape. So I'm happy that I got it. I got it got a 9. That's not bad. Here's another sweet faded card. Summon Skull. Like that thing's very yellow. I mean that's that's awesome. Unlimited, of course. Most of this stuff's been unlimited, except the Exodia Necros. This one got a 9, so I was actually really happy with this card. I think this is a sweet card. Even as a mint 9, like, that's a really nice looking card. Summon Skull Faded, so I'm pretty happy about that in the Exodia. Here we go, we got another Faded. Um, I sent a few Faded things in, obviously. Sangha of the Thunder, that guy looks pretty nice. I actually got all these Faded cards from one collection I bought. This dude had like five faded cards. And I'm telling you, this guy sent it in this huge box and literally dumped the cards in. Like they were in tens, but they had dumped out. So these, like the Summon Skull that got a nine was just on the ground with like a hundred cards in the bottom of a box. Like he had this huge box that had way too much room, no bubble wrap. Somehow the cards came out okay for the most part. Sangha was in there as well. And this one got a near mint to mint eight. So there's our eighth eight, eight eights. And here's a semi-faded Magic Dammer. Not like crazy faded, but it is a little bit faded. This was also with those, I think. And this one got a mint 9, so it's not too bad. So, <laughs> literally have not hit a 10 yet, which is just crazy. This is <laughs> a really nice card. This card is... I still don't know what... I don't know what it is, what print it is. Some original LOB print, but... 
I don't think it's wavy. When I bought it, I thought it was wavy because it has the lower, lower name. But I can't, it doesn't really look that wavy. It's like, I don't know what it printed is, but it's a sweet looking card. And this one got a 9. So, this would have been insanely nice as a 10, but a 9 is also really cool. So, that is not a bad grade either. So, we're down to the last three cards. Will we get a 10? Will we get a 10 at all, guys? Here we go. Wing Karibo. Back there, we got another one. This is our second Wing Karibo. This one I bought from TCG Cantu, Chris Cantu on Instagram. He sold it to me, I mean, way long ago because I had to send it in. It took forever. So, um, this was before I had that 10, obviously. I was expecting that to get a 9. So, it was, this one, I was like, this thing is beautiful. It should get a 10. And it did. So, this was the one card that I really wanted as a 10. And I got it. So, really happy. Chris Cantu saved us. We had no, we had 17 in a row without a 10. He get, he provided the 10. So that's super awesome. I'm actually looking to sell this one because I'm looking to buy a Wing Creebo level 10 ultimate rare. So I could have this one and then the Wing Creebo level 10. I'm going to keep this one. Then I'm going to sell that one. And then I'll have Wing Creebo level 10 ultimate rare. And then I also want to get a Karibo level 10 for Metal Raiders. So that would be pretty cool. Um, so we finally got a 10. It's like 18 cards, but we got a 10. So, last two cards. These cards are pretty big and also pretty funny. So first we're going to start off. We get a Dark Magician. Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, wavy. So if you can see right there. You see right there. It's probably in a very good grade, you know. Like, it probably didn't grade very well. So take your guesses. What do you think the Dark Magician got? Lower name, though. I mean, this card is really cool. If it was in good shape, it'd be awesome. It got ourselves a very good three. So we got a PSA three wavy dark magician. But you, I mean, even as a three, look at those waves. It's freaking awesome. So PSA three dark magician. Not too bad. Now we're going to finish it with the big boy. Legend of blue eyes. First edition blue eyes white dragon. Now look at the condition on this bad boy. It ain't looking so hot. You know, it's a little bent, it's got some stuff, it's got crease, I mean, it's almost crease right there, it's like folded. And look at that right there. Let's look at the back. There's some horrible, like, the edge is like black up there, like, this thing is, this thing is, you know, it's nice, you know what I mean? So take your guesses, what did we get? Did we get the poor one? Did we get the good two? No, we got the fair 1.5. <laughs> yeah. The Blue Eyes White Dragon, 1.5. Fair. <laughs> oh, man. This oh, this is so... i not going to lie. I think this is hilarious. A 1.5. We didn't get a 1. We didn't get a poor 1. We didn't get a good 2. We got a fair 1.5. I think it's funny that they have another word for a 1.5. Like, it goes from poor to good. And then at 1.5 is fair. So, we... Um, our blue eyes didn't really um it uh, honestly it overachieved because i was expecting a one on this thing or to not be graded so the fact that it got 1.5 is not too bad so <laughs> we got a pretty pretty beat up blue eyes there 1.5 go with its buddy the very good three there's the big two <laughs> in incredible condition if anybody wants to trade me for two tens i'll think about it because i mean very good and fair like 1.5 and 3, like, you're not going to find that very often. That's the combo. That's probably a lot. There's only two of these. This is Pop 2, okay? This is, like, Pop 2 as well. So, I mean, regular PSA 10 Blue Eyes is, like, I mean, it's Pop 81. So, like, is that really even special? So, yeah. So, that's about it for this video. Uh, this PSA sub was not, wasn't a lot of 10 quality candidates. But also, I thought we got, I thought we, they were pretty tough on some of them. I thought I could add a lot more 9s, but... I mean, honestly, it's not a big deal. So, um, I'm probably going to be announcing the giveaway for those, probably those two blue eyes, the seven um, SDK and the eight LOB um, one. And I'll post that on Instagram, and then I'll probably post it on here, post a quick video on here. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. We got a lot of openings coming up. We got a lot of stuff to do. Um, check out the last video of the collection purchase, etc. That's about all I got to say. Let me know if you like the fair 1.5 blue eyes 
in the comments because, I mean, how can you not like it? It's 1.5. It's fair, you know? So that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's no hiccup.